Okay, uh, we're going to have a little uh, appreciation program. Uh, at this time, I want to call Ashley Hall up here and uh, say a few words about some of our uh, past members that have contributed to the Old Spanish uh, Trail Association and to our success. because some of us who have been working for a year and a half or two years, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> but we wanted to bring back some memories. Some of you will not know them, but some of you might. We've had some people pass away this last year that were pretty active in the old Spanish Trail Association. One was Liz Warren, who was the president of OSA at one point, and uh, Hal Steiner didn't pass away this year, he passed away a couple of years ago. And so we took Hal Steiner uh, from Las Vegas, took him to the spring, and took him up through uh, the streets that went out southwest of Las Vegas to a place called Sienna, which is a development of the golf course area. And then we went up the ravine to the mine. Howard Hughes on a big piece of that property and so we get up in there and we're shot by some people who are the people who are representing Howard Hughes. And they said, you know, we're not sure we want you to go up here. And Hal Steiner says, yeah, we own this place. <laughs> and I looked at him and said, you're not Howard Hughes, are you? He said, no. <laughs> he said, I'm the guy that walked, and, and, and walked the trail and wrote the history of the old Spanish trail between someplace up in southwestern Utah, all the way through to Los Angeles. But Hal was a great guy, was a great guy. We stopped and took photographs several different places, and that was probably one of the happiest days I remember. Because Hal Steiner sat back, relaxed, we drove up through the ravine, coming this way, and then we drove on out into uh, Sandy Valley, uh, Sandy Valley Road, on out into Pearl, Stump Springs, and Hal reminisced. And then we came back, went up to the top on Mountain Springs Pass, where the springs are at. <clears throat> Do any of you know what bunch grass is? Okay. <laughs> Mountain Springs pa Pass is full of bunch grass. The, uh, the animals loved it. I mean, it was just the kind of grass that you just, it could really bite your teeth into. But Hal got down and said, you know, I'm not sure I'm ever going to see bunch grass again. I said, oh, you'll see it. Don't worry about it. We talked, reminisced, stopped and saw a few other places. And we took him home, and he said, thank you very much. And then as Liz and I left his house and went to our own abodes, I said to Liz, Liz, I hope we see him again. Have him last a week. He was gone. And, and so that meant a lot. It, for one, one, one last time, we could take someone that loved the old Spanish trail that much out where he could enjoy it before his last breath. And then lo and behold, Liz Warren would be the president of OSU some time ago, been on the board for several years, lived out of Good Springs, <clears throat> in good health. When I was the president of the organization, I used to take her with me to Santa Fe and Albuquerque and different places because she got, you see, she wasn't near science, she just couldn't see very well in private. And so to protect her, Warren and I would put her in the back seat and we'd take off. But over a period of time, Lynn, uh, Liz, began losing her memory. And so every time we went to a conference or a meeting or something, I would always do an accounting of what she took with her. <laughs> because we came back from one down in Phoenix and she had sworn that she lost her computer. I said, it's not on my checklist, you didn't bring it. Anyway, Liz was just this wonderful person 
good historian, wrote a lot of good things about the old Spanish Trail. And the story that, was that she told at Resting Spring today, we had many of the family members from the Hernandez family come. That probably is one of the highlights of my time at the old Spanish Trail. Now, we certainly want to express our appreciation to Paul Rostler for the, being the president of the organization.
the good fortune and wisdom to take you out to see those early dedications. And you lit the fire at you. <clears throat> everyone in this room knows how that fire, you've passed that on to everyone else, young and old. Great family member, you've gotten uh, all your kids involved, your grandkids, um, the Parker program, and the, uh, on and on and on. So we want to present to you uh, the secret award. <laughs> this is all I've been giving out a handful of times. you and talk with your um, your officers and get you started and indeed you did so thank you for that we appreciate all that you have done from then and from the very beginning as Paul had said starting as a child and, and working your way into adulthood all working toward the good of the Old Spanish Trail Association so thank you for all that you have done and all that you will continue to do because we know you will all right well yeah another round of applause for us. heard about the Old Spanish Trail in 2002 when Congress designated it as um, a National Historic Trail, part of the trail system. And um, I saw a headline about the President Bush uh, designating the Old Spanish Trail. And I was curious about it and looked at some maps. And lo and behold, there was the Armijo route that came very near to Page, Arizona, where I live. And so I was curious about, you know, a lot of people ask, well, where is the trail? Where did the trail go? So I went to the local National Park Service office and started asking questions there. And they said, you know, the president at the time, Steve Heath of Vosta, is going to be in Page and they're planning for a conference in Page. And so I got to meet Steve. I went to the conference uh, in Page and learned a lot. I was involved with some of the field trips and I got hooked. I got hooked on history and hooked on the Old Spanish Trail. And bit by bit now we're starting to build momentum and putting places on the map where the public can go and have a, a trail experience and get hooked on history. Well, I think uh, historically, you know, it was like uh, such a historic trail and it was the main thoroughfare through the Las Vegas Valley. It, you might say it predated Interstate 15 as far as uh, a travel corridor going from uh, New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, Utah into California. So the historic significance of it is dates back to the origins actually of Las Vegas when Fremont first uh, came to Las Vegas Springs and blazed the trail through Las Vegas Valley. 